The Biden administration releases its list of the 10 drugs Big Pharma must negotiate with Medicare for coverage. The goal is to cut costs for seniors and taxpayers. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. Republicans call it a ploy to buy votes as the president seeks re-election. But patients who could benefit may not care who's behind it as what it could mean for them. Fox Force Jonathan Katz live at Mercy and Truth Medical Missions in Kansas City, Kansas, serving the underserved there. John? Yeah, that's right, John and Lauren. A registered nurse inside of here says that the prescription drug costs are the bane of her job, and oftentimes Medicare won't cover the type of drug that a patient truly needs. Then these patients are getting to where they have to make the choice of Am I paying for groceries or am I paying for my insulin or my depression medication? Christina Dreyer is the clinic manager for Mercy and Truth. It provides care for people who are insured, but who may not be able to get the medical care they need. Here are the 10 drugs President Biden's administration chose to try to negotiate. The diabetes treatment Jardiance and blood thinners like Eliquis and Xarelto, along with seven others. A list of patients Dreyer's seen in the past have needed warfarin, which is another blood thinner. It's not on the president's list, though. The problem with that medication is if you eat certain foods, it alters the level of the medication. But Medicare and Medicaid would not cover Eliquis or Xarelto, which do not need, these two here, which do not need monitoring. Warfarin needs monitoring three times a week at the minimum. The move faces litigation, though, from drug makers. Companies that refuse to be a part of the negotiation process will face heavy taxes. White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre spoke with Fox 4's John Holt. It's either take it or leave it, or potentially pay a 95% tax on U.S. sales. In fact, that's the subject of at least eight lawsuits that I've found. They're, they're not really negotiating, are there? And are there okay, any concerns let's, let's by the administration be, that this could no, get struck no, down be, on Eighth Amendment no, no, grounds? Let's be really clear, John. So for the past couple of decades, these pharmaceutical companies have paid hundreds of millions of dollars per year, per year, to make sure that Medicare was not able to negotiate to lower costs for Americans. John's full interview, by the way, with Corrine Jean-Pierre airs this Sunday on For the People. It starts at 10 a.m. right after Fox News Sunday. The negotiated prices for these drugs, by the way, won't kick in until 2026. We're live tonight in KCK. I'm Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.